A former officer who confessed to a sexual relationship with a 15 year old girl got the case expunged. It's been the subject of an ongoing WDRB investigation and today there was a major win for the victim. May I have appearances first for the Commonwealth? It happened fast. We really didn't expect that. The hearing lasting about seven minutes. We're not asking to to unexpunge the, the case for, for lack of a better term. But the outcome may begin to walk back what happened seven years ago. Your Honor, it certainly sounds to me like they're trying to unexpunge it. Judge Annie O'Connell allowing prosecutors to open a door to investigate how Todd Wall's case was overturned. It is hereby ordered the Commonwealth's motion is granted. The clerk's office shall arrange a time for the Commonwealth to inspect the paper and video record here. In 1996, Walls pleaded guilty to sexual misconduct, admitting he had a relationship with a 15-year-old girl while he was a 28-year-old officer with the old Louisville Police Department. He got the record expunged in 2015, sealing it from the public, unbeknownst to the victim. I wish that I could go back and make it never have happened. I, I can promise you that. But it did. It's been the subject of WDRB investigations for months. The case back in the spotlight as Walls tries to get back his badge. He was fired from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office last summer after House Bill 206 took effect. The bill required the state to revoke the police certification of officers convicted of misdemeanor sex crimes. No license, no job. But Walls is appealing. His attorney saying that conviction no longer exists. The charge was set aside and dismissed with prejudice. The expungement statute is pretty clear that you cannot expunge anything that has to do with a sex crime or a crime against a child. With Wall's case vacated first, the provision blocking it from being expunged didn't apply. The only thing we have in our active file now is, is the one page that says vacated and now expunged. Prosecutors say they have no record, no motion, nothing explaining why James Shake, the judge at the time who's since retired, set the conviction aside so many years ago. I am going to grant the Commonwealth's mo uh, petition to inspect records. They will now be able to see for themselves seven minutes that will possibly walk back what happened seven years ago. As far as Wall's appeal to get back his police certification, that's set to go before the Kentucky Law Enforcement Council later this month.